Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this episode with Elon. I'm going to show you guys a few of the things we're working on and share a couple tips with you guys. Starting off with one of the ways that I train my horses to always stand still for mounting is that I give them a cookie after I get on. So you can see Elon knows I get on and he stands still waiting for that cookie. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is me starting to teach him how to spin. So watch his inside hind leg, his right hind leg. And what I'm waiting for is him to plant that foot and rotate around before he earns his cookie. So wait for it as he's going around. There he started to plant it, so I'm gonna offer him a reward as part of our little warm up. So instead of him walking in a circle, we're looking for him to start to plant that inside hind leg a little bit more. And we're gonna to start to get a little bit more particular with it, and we're gonna do it again later on in this training ride. But here's just a little bit of him warming up and starting to get that idea of that hind end staying still. And in this case, it would be the back left leg, the hind left leg is the one we're watching. They're waiting right at the end. He started to plant it there a little bit and just gonna reward him for that idea there. And we'll do that again later on in the ride after he does a few more things. But that's starting to teach him how to get a spin. So he's got to go on the inside hind leg to get going a little bit faster with that. So here's a little bit of look at starting to collect him a little bit more, teaching him to stretch. He tends to carry himself a little bit upright, which is okay. We want him collected and on his hind end. But this is me starting to, to teach him how to uh, collect his body and uh, carry himself a little bit better. So starting to teach him how to work off of that contact and be soft to that. And keep in mind, everything we're doing at this point is still all bitless. He's just riding in a little rope nose band. And then he's starting to work on his uh, lateral work. This is uh, starting to push him into a little bit of a shoulder in, moving his hips around, doing kind of shoulder in on the circle. Um, moving his different body parts here. We're going into a little bit of haunches in for the first time. So asking him to bend to the right and bring his hip over to the right. So you can see he's not really, we don't really want him going sideways. We want him kind of going forward, but bringing his hip to the inside. So this is really good. He's starting to understand to bring his little hip over and still keep that bend to that right side. So we're just asking him to walk relatively in a straight line as I do that. So I'm going to give him a little reward for that on the right side, because I want him to stay bending to the right. And then when I cooking him on the right, it just helps to reinforce staying to the right side there. So we're going to try a little bit on the other side as well. First kind of moving him off and asking for a left bend. And then once I have him in the left bend, asking him to bring his hips over, which often causes him to kind of take the wrong bend or not the wrong bend, but the opposite bend. So trying to here balance out bringing his hips over, but asking for a left bend. And then once he kind of gives me something that sort of looks like that, he's going to get a cookie on the left side to help reinforce that left bend. And that's all to just help improve his uh, versatility, his ability to kind of be flexible and move around. It's going to make him uh, be able to progress uh, by just kind of showing him how to move his body a little bit better and will help us to get into some of the higher level movements. And this is just a little bit of his trot work going around and he's going around on a bit of a, a loose rein there, but asking him to stretch as he does that. So if he brings his head up, I just add a little bit of contact uh, try to be gentle with my hands and encourage him to just start to stretch down and not trying to force him into any type of a frame, just asking him instead of to carrying himself kind of up and hollow, asking him to stretch down and figure out a different way of carrying himself. So here's a little bit of a, a different look as well. Going the other way, he's starting to ask him to figure out, I'm not trying to tuck his nose in really tight or anything like that, just asking him to figure out something a little bit different with how he's carrying himself. And it's a little bit all over the place still because I'm not cranking him into a tight frame. I'm not holding him really rigidly. I'm asking him to try and it feels different and it feels weird. So he's a little up, he's a little down because I'm not holding him with contact there. I'm kind of suggesting that he should put his head down or lower it and try to uh, stretch a little bit and then just kind of giving him the reins and allowing him freedom to move and figure out what feels good for him. So here he's just exploring all of that. 
and uh, I'm just asking him to bend and try and just being gentle with my hands. And then, of course, I'll offer him positive reinforcement as well. So here's a little look at that spin turn to the right. Look at that right hind foot. It's actually planting pretty good there. And I was about to um, give him a cookie there. And I just uh, stop and wait. And then I'm going to cookie him on the right side because the we were turning to the right. So I want to cookie him on the right side to just encourage all that. And then the left side is a little bit more of our trickier side here. So we'll do that in a second. And it's a little bit harder. This is the side actually that I was going to, I was about to cookie him because it was good. And then he let his hind end slip. So we're looking at that back left foot. Uh, right now that's the back right foot that was planting. We want to see the back left. So there he does a couple back left, but then his back legs slip a little bit meaning they get going again. So I kind of wait for another opportunity. I want the back end more quiet and the back left. So there he kind of plants it. There he's still. So we want him to actually take a couple steps. There he does a couple steps. So that would be a good time to cookie him pretty soon there. But then he starts to scoot his bum around. So I'm waiting for a couple more steps there. Trying to get it so that way I can just reward him for being still with the back legs and having that inside hind leg planted ideally is what I'm looking for there. And he's going to get a cookie on the left side because it's a left turn that we're making there. So then we did a little bit of canter work. Here's a little bit of him working around. We did some lead changes. We did some circles. The footing's kind of deep in the ring and it makes it a little bit tricky. So we try to find some good spots to play on. So here's a little look at asking for a right canter lead, which he didn't give me the flying lead change right away. He was a little bit sticky with that. So we're just working with moving off of that. Now getting the timing for the cues, there was a really clean flying lead change. We'll get better as we work more on those lateral movements. So doing all of that hip and shoulder control with the shoulder in, the haunches in, all that kind of stuff will lead up to easier and smoother flying lead changes. So we'll just give us more coordination with all of those body parts. So we're going to keep working on all those other things because even though they seem kind of boring and, and uh, slow and stuff, it really strengthens the horse and helps get you more in tune with what's going on with your horse and cueing for those different things. So here's a little left lead canner now. Uh, you can see he just kind of tripped a little bit in the sand and that's just kind of due to the sand being a little bit deep in some spots and then gives me the clean flying lead change to the right there. So I did that really, really nicely. So his changes, he's he's pretty good with his changes. So it's more about just getting the changes when I ask him to do them, like trying to make sure that they're right on cue. And then we want to progress to eventually trying them on the straight line as well and doing multiples and just building up that. Here's my uh, daughter coming in the ring saying she wants to have her turn to go for a ride. So I'm just going to finish up with a little bit more with uh, Elon before hopping off and letting her have a, a turn on him little transition there. So he's definitely used to little people coming around and running around and saying, Hey, my turn, my turn. And he's doing really good with Evelyn too. I'll show you guys in another video, one of their little rides together. He's definitely becoming a really well-rounded little horse and, um, being a real little superstar. He's such a little sweetheart. I'm really happy with him. Here's a little look at doing our somewhat barrel pattern except for the sand was really really deep around the barrel so I found it a little bit tricky and uh but anyways we were having a little bit of fun with it the camera at the end lost track of us as we finished up our barrel pattern it was like oh I spot king over there I'm gonna focus on that horse so I'll show you guys a clip with king and uh with Evelyn on another video but thanks for watching guys I hope you learned some stuff